we have to run it with opt homebrew bin bash, right? So if we run bash simple script, it will run it with opt homebrew bin bash? Well, no, because I tricked you. I use the which command, which is an external tool that goes through your path and finds a command that matches it. But in our shell, when I ran this, it actually was overridden. We should use the type command, type bash, we can see that bash is an alias. I aliased it to a third special version of bash. Am I trying to trick you? Yeah, a little bit. Why am I trying to trick you? To show how important these shebangs are. You don't know what a user's environment looks like. You don't know where they're running bash, if they have alias set up or not. The only thing you can do is hope that they run it with a version of bash that is compatible with the contents of the bash script that you wrote. This is very important. I will circle back to why that's important because there's a little bit of hope here. So we have the type command here, type dash a bash. This will list all of them in order. So the first thing it will do is it's an alias, which will resolve to this. And then the next thing after that is it will execute this one. The next thing after that is it'll execute this one. It won't execute those in order. It will stop at the first one that matches. So we can unalias bash, get rid of it. Now, if we do type dash a, you can see it's gone. This way, if we run our simple script again, it has bin bash. If we run it with the bash executable, hey, look at this. Opt homebrew bin bash version 5.3.3, whatever. If we look at that shebang, remember what the shebang line looks like? User bin env bash, and then the name of the file. This should be the same as what's above it because we are running the env program. This is an external program. This exists on our system. It is a program that, ex that gets executed. It takes this argument and then arguments past it and it ex executes these. So that's what happens here. It finds bash in our current environment and then executes it based on the dollar path variable. Why is this important? Because this is what goes in the shebang line and the way shebang works is they append the file name as the final argument. So bash gets run and it gets run with the name of the file that was executed. That's what happens when we run this. It runs slash bin slash bash and then it gives it this as the file name. We can modify this and use the uh, syntax I talked about earlier. User bin env bash like this. We can go back, we can run it. And the way that it got executed is it basically put the file name here. I'm just putting this here to illustrate it. That's how shebangs work. Your kernel, your operating system will actually execute it in that order. So you have the file name, your arguments, and then the file, the file name gets put all the way at the end.